All set? All set. All right. Uh, let's call this meeting of the uh, June 28, 2021 Rollins Street Select Board to order. Um, due to an air conditioning outage, I'm going to try to keep this meeting as brief as possible. Um, it's not that bad in here right now, but it will be. It will be. Uh, <laughs> these people know um, So we're going to do some juggling of the agenda. We have non-publics. I think it might make sense to do those at the end. Okay. Let's take care of everything else and then we can invite everyone to leave. So I'm, I'm sorry for folks that showed up for non-public, but I really don't think this will take long. Um, I don't think we have election of select board offices, right? No. Okay, I'm good with that. Um, community input. Um, I will invite community input, but I will ask you to keep it brief. Hi, Lorraine Hansen, 11 Watson Lane. Um, the only thing I want to let you know is I sent a letter. I was reviewing the old minutes again because I read them all the time and then I was reviewing them again. And I noted that in one of the minutes, um, one of our select board members was participating in discussions regarding uh, the compensation of his wife. And I was concerned about that because I think that if you look at most of the information that we've got from NHMA, which I usually um, ask to get anyway, um, they seem to indicate that when someone has a possible pecuniary interest, they should not be involved in any discussion or vote or debate regarding a spouse, well, regarding someone else. And in this case, a spouse would obviously be it. I certainly am not trying to cast any blame because I think everybody's got the right ideas and they all work in the right direction on this board. But I just wanted to mention that because I think in the future we want to make sure that doesn't happen. I don't think anybody ever gave it any thought. I certainly wouldn't have had it, you know, at the time. But when I reread, I realized there was an, an anomaly. So I'm hoping that as you all go forward that that won't happen again because it, it's especially a problem because if you read the materials I sent from NHMA, which I did include with my letter, in some instances it may even void a vote, and we don't want to have that happen, so we've got to be really careful about it. So, that's all I have to say, and I thank you all for everything you do. <laughs> I'd like to just comment for a second. I, I read your email, and uh, thanks for bringing it to the attention, and also uh, thank you for bringing it to the attention. I'm glad that our citizens can point out the dedication of our town employees, especially yes. the ones that have been here for a while. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> because I know they had their heart into it. And, uh, during COVID, it was a little difficult for them, so I'm glad you put in their dedication, so thank you. Absolutely, I, okay. I agree. Very dedicated. Yeah, and, and I couldn't agree more, Lorraine, that um, we need to do our best to avoid even the appearance of a conflict of interest. Um, you know, last year was a crazy year with everything going on, so... Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know how you all survived it as, as far as I'm concerned. Um, anyone else for community input? Mr. Hill? I'm not right now. Um, okay, let's, let's tackle the things that we need to get done tonight. Um, so we have some board and committee appointments that we have to make because there are meetings coming up. Um, I don't have that list. I, I'm sorry, I, I intended to put that on the agenda and I, and I did not. So there are two um, two appointments. One is for um, as a, an ex officio member of the planning board because mm -hmm. there's a meeting Tuesday night next week. Um, and then also for the Highway Safety Committee, Mike Billis has graciously agreed to be reappointed. Um, there are, I, I do just want to mention that there are no other public, uh, members of the public um, expressing interest in any of the board committee opportunities, so um, yes. that that's problematic. But but for tonight, if we can handle planning board and the highway safety, that would be okay. helpful. So I know that you had expressed an interest in a no highway safety. Highway safety. I did commit to that. Okay. What about um, the planning? The planning board I did not commit to. Um, no, uh, so you're acting as ex officio now. Um, I have been, okay. and I am now, but the term is up, so it happens, okay. um, that's the next meeting after the election, so okay. we need to redo appointments. Mm -hmm. um, some things I can stand in for for the board, that's one of them, not every appointment. 
Um, but I know you expressed interest in it. So I sent you some training materials. I don't know if that was helpful to give you an idea about what they do. Um, but it's certainly for you to have if, you know, as a board member, you know, the board gets to choose those appointments. So if you're interested, that's certainly for you to want to do, you know. I, I am interested, but I was kind of hoping to kind of get a little bit more familiar with the select board administrating administration part first. So do we need to make that appointment now? Um, we need to make the appointment now, but it doesn't mean that we can't reconsider the appointment, okay. you know, in the future. Um, oh, the other thing is the appointments always expire at town meeting. So, um, you know, I, that's only nine months. That's nine meetings. And so, you know, then you're doing them again. Or if you're feeling a sense of um, readiness and, right. and want to readdress it, then we can put it on the agenda and, and do that. Okay. Because um, I would like to do it. I just feel like I have a lot to understand right now. So I don't know if you could, con you could continue that temporarily. Maybe I would be happy to okay. until whenever it is the board wants to reconsider it and you're ready. I could say, you know, probably in a, I feel like in a couple of months I'll probably have a good feel for everything. Um, if, if the board is willing to consider it. I think that perfectly viable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, okay. I would appreciate it. Do we need a motion for that or we can just. I think consensus is fine. Okay. Um, Thank you for that. So, Caroline, we can move our ex officio on planning. Um, and if someone could make a motion to um, appoint Mike Gillis to highway safety, I'll make a motion to appoint Mike Gillis to highway safety. Okay. A second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Mike Gillis is uh, reappointed. Um, with a paid increase. Um, and I think there's these spreadsheets. Accept these as uh, presented. 
motion to accept the salary increases as accepted. And I will second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So those are all set. Um, Okay, Juneteenth. So this was a this was a gift from the federal government. Um, unfortunately, caused a lot of confusion among um, our employees and um, select board because it happened the day before the holiday. Um, I, I feel like so. I know some people worked, some people didn't work. Um, at this point, I feel like it's easiest. Okay, so I guess there are two things. Um, is is there support to include this on the holiday calendar going forward? And how do we handle this for 2021? Um, for this year, I would propose anyone that didn't take it off get a floating holiday, since some people did take it off and will presumably get paid. Um, that is complicated by transfer station employees because they don't really get days off, um, so we're going to have to give them extra money, um, four hours or five hours that they would be entitled to. Um, so thoughts from the board? I'm going to go first. Um, so um, I did reach out to some of the other communities, hmm. and because it is an estate approved holiday, they did not honor it. Um, and they also raised concerns about the fact that it wasn't on the holiday calendar. Um, and there are also some issues around collective bargaining agreements. And so mm. for that reason, with such short notice and not having it on an approved calendar, they did not honor it. Um, so I feel we certainly need to put it on the calendar going forward. Um, do we know who, um, well, do we have a holiday calendar? We do. It's part of the personnel policy which holidays um, are observed by the town. And then it is part of a policy that the town administrator um, creates um, a holiday calendar for the upcoming year at the end of the prior year so that we know when is the transfer station going to be closed and when is the town is going to be closed. Which is a pretty high board. And it's every federal holiday that is, is on that. I mean, there, there, there are ten holidays, yes. Uh, and I agree with you that we should, we should include it going forward. Um, and I think you were about to ask, do we know? Do we know who took it upon themselves to take the day off and who worked? Do we know that? Um, at, at least one person, I believe, did, but I don't know outside of that. I, I guess my issue is that it wasn't a select one who called in. So my thought is that for those who took it off without approval, we should consider allowing them to use their PTO. Okay. And then going forward, make sure if we're going to um, have it as a, on the holiday schedule. But, um, and, I, and I think it's important for the board to um, exercise its authority um, in those cases as well, because it, I, I just don't feel like it should be a big for all. Right. Yeah, Paul. Mm -hmm. Any any thoughts? Um, um, you know, um it, it's kind of just a it, going forward. I agree. Yes, okay. I think we're all in agreement. The the past, it's 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 an odd decision. Um, I mean, I threw my two cents out there Thursday night, which, which I shouldn't. Have. It's okay. I think you were trying to do the right thing. So. I guess I'm agreeing with that. PTO time, I guess, when people have to use it. And, and, yeah. And then going forward, it should be on a calendar for 2022. Okay. So I think I think we're all in agreement there. Um, that that going forward, it'll be on the holiday calendar. This this time around, six hours to react to. Um, a newly enacted holiday really wasn't enough time to 
um, for us to react. So, um, why don't we, um, why don't we at least get a motion to get it on the holiday calendar? Because that's amending the personal policy, right? Yes. So and I'll include that in my draft. Yes. All right. I'll make a motion to add June nineteenth to the holiday calendar. Um, the only, okay, good. Yeah, good percent. The only thing that I think we should probably follow all of the federal, federal mandates it like when it falls on one day and stuff, obviously. Yeah. That became confusing because, which is why it's in the policy the way it is, which is that if it's on the weekend, it's celebrated on the Monday, which is also confusing because when the banks are closed, the post office is closed on Friday, it doesn't make sense that we're closed on Monday. It's not right. consistent for the public. So I agree with you, but, um, and I think that we can, we can cover that problem or that inconsistency by, um, by the approval in December of the holiday calendar for the, for the next year and, and, and telling people Just ahead of time. The reason that language was added is because people decided for themselves um, to take Friday off or Monday off based on whether it was a Saturday or Sunday and what they felt was, was best and then there were inconsistencies and, and there was not an advanced conversation, you know, a conversation in advance of the holiday. So we got caught a couple times with people taking different days off for that. So, um, but like I said, I think I think that's a really good point. I think we've covered that now with the calendar approval in December. So I'll, uh, I'll make that revision as well. Okay. Uh, I have a motion and a second. Um, any more discussion on Juneteenth? Um, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, so those are the things we needed to cover. Um, George, did you have, do you have items for us? I do have one time. Okay, thank you. Sure. It's actually a revision to a PO uh, from Belmore for the Sean Green cleaning where we took the mapping and stuff. It went over about $1,500. Okay. And we're going to take that as stormwater. So I don't know if you want to set the PO for that or you can just... Um, I think you can revise the purchase order. It was approved. The, the, the um, project was approved. It just got overexpended, um, not really being able to foresee how much time it was going to take to yep. GIS the storm drains. Okay. So the overage could, so I think we can amend the PO, but I think the question to the board is, um, or, or maybe a bit of awareness, I, I would suggest that we take the $1,500 out of the stormwater line and executive because he will have, I think, fully expended oh, yeah. um, the, the catch basin cleaning line. Okay. Um, but George and I will discuss the opportunity about whether or not um, we might possibly be able to take it out of the asset management loan program um, for stormwater because, yeah. of course, that would be the best case scenario, but okay. not at the expense of something else. I, I didn't bring one white coffee, but I have a yellow coffee. Okay, I think that's okay. Um, I'll just add that bar. So if you just move to amend the PO, whatever it's like, um, and then you know that. By two, another $1,500, is that right? It was 3500 for the PO, so it's forty nine twelve fifty. It's forty. So I move to modify purchase order 1977 and increase it by $1,412.50 for a total of $4,912.50. All right, any uh, discussion on that? I'm hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anything else? I have some payment quotes. I didn't know if you were wanting to hold off. Um, if you want to, if you want to, I did not do PO on my life. Okay, yeah. If you want to just tell us briefly, we had a seven thousand dollars left in the sidewalk fund uh, from last year. I got a quote of six thousand dollars from Casey Paving to finish the sidewalks down to Main Street, down Main Street up down to the front. Uh, 
uh, and just overlaying what we have with the side washing green, so leveling them all off. I can know if you wanted to go with that for what's left in the sidewalk then? There's seven thousand left. Okay. You just pull them in at six. And that was the money we approved last year to work the sidewalks yep. up here. So I, I didn't know if you wanted to do it or you want to hold off. Uh, I don't know. I, I think we can probably um, ponder that. I have a question again. Huh? So are we not anticipating any other work, like repair work, work that would need to happen? This is just sidewalks. Right. Right. Yeah, on sidewalks. Other sidewalks. And I'm aware of right now. This is, this is, we were trying to get all the way to Main Street last year, we didn't get it to the finalized at the end of the year, so we didn't get it done. Uh, so, yeah, if you want, I, it doesn't matter just now, I just try to get it Yeah, why don't we, um, next next time we meet, um, just in the interest of, of time, um, and oh, you got the whole pattern there. Okay, go oh, ahead. No, all, there's three different quotes from uh, KC for different projects. The project here, yep. uh, out front. Yep. For 17 I think it was a little higher last year, but yeah, we decided right. that part of it, we don't have to cut, we're going to cut out just the rough, the bad spots and overlay. Talking the parking lot right there. Right in front of the building. So that's, you know, that would be to take out the front and overlay uh, the side where it's pretty good. And then uh, there was a question about Hall Road earlier in the year. Uh, Right. Right. Feet of the road to finish that road along with the Dover section that uh, Dover did there last year, but they gave us a quote of 6,800 to call road. So, and that would, and that road would be as good as what building? Mm -hmm. Yeah, building good shape. Okay, so that and that's an overlay, obviously. Exactly. That's an overlay. Yeah, that would just be an overlay to finish that road. I'm sorry, George, can you go over what those numbers are there before the time comes? Okay, uh, the sidewalks was 6,000. We surfaced the sidewalks going down to Front Street from here. Uh, and then in front of the town hall, to remove the asphalt in the front section of the building and overlay, and base it in and overlay with an inch and a half over the top of the whole entire uh, thing after they put the two inch base in the 17A. Thank you. And then, uh, you can call a road. Mm -hmm. I didn't get my road, sorry. 6,800. 60, so, uh, 6,000 dollars Correct. Yep. I was just trying to get Okay. Okay. So, so next time, why don't um, I, I think POs do that for that, but next time if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I, I think that that makes sense to me. Um, we have the information, we can take a ride around town. I, I haven't been on Hall Road in probably 30 years um, since Not my grandfather died on Hall Road. Um, <laughs> I went for a ride with, with that, so I saw all the roads pretty good. So. There's a couple roads I didn't even know existed. I know. I didn't know the whole life. Gilman and Hall are down Gilman. behind uh, Wolf Real. So they, you have to go to Dole to get them. Yeah, those right. ones that I was like, this is the one. And th that would be, if you're going to go out and look at roads, take a ride around Calvary Drive. Also. Yeah, uh, what's, the, 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 what's the status of that? I, we got an email not that long ago from someone waiting. Yeah, someone's waiting. Really it's not on someone's schedule this year, so. It doesn't make sense to take it. There's off here with us. Yep. So if we. We're going to keep it on a radar. I'm going to try to continue to talk with them and see if they plan on doing it next year. Okay. We can probably move something around, move something around. But that road is very rough here. I mean, the whole road is. Okay. Other than that section we repaired last year. I was kind of hoping that <clears throat> we might um, put um, the road plan on the strategy. Absolutely. Yep. Um, yep. Um, I'll share that document. I don't think I shared it with um, the two of you on the drive, so that as things pop in your head, you can just put it on there and we'll start ranking the stuff. But we do need to evaluate the whole, the whole building plan. Um, okay. Um, did you want to go into non-public? I do. Okay. I, I can hold up. Yeah, if you want to hang out um, for a second. I don't think it will be too long. Yeah, I don't think it will be too long. Um,
that will mean that we'll need a vote after not public. Um, just thinking through my head with the Board of Operations, but if people want to stick around for that, they they can. But we'll we'll need to go back into public too. Um, so yeah, if uh, John, do you have um, EOs and stuff, or just nope? I just, just have to introduce you. Okay, Miss Perry here. Awesome. Okay, so. Is that on public? That will be a non public. Obviously. Um, oh, yes. I didn't actually read the minutes, I didn't, so I'm sorry. I did actually. I only have one comment. Oh, okay. If you have a comment, no. then. Just um, the comment about um, dental being on the next budget, I think I thought we tabled that. Um, my, my idea at the time was that we'll reconsider it for the 2022 budget. Okay. Um, you know, see if it works in that okay. budget. It, it, it didn't work that well in the 21's budget, but table um, that you were discussing that year. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Will that be part of strategy discussion? I think it should. I, I mean, I think we need to talk about benefits. And, yeah. yeah, and you know, I'm just going to bring this up because it, it sounds crazy, but we got to think, you know, budget and everything already for next year. No, I know. So, before you know it, boom. So, yeah. Crazy. Um, so in table of minutes, um, the, the one, the one thing, um, I guess, the, the redistricting letters, um, which I think are somewhere. Um, if if the board is okay with me, it's just one. No. It's one to, I think, six different people. Oh, okay. Um, I see. Um, if I can get consensus that the board's okay with me signing these, um, it was on the, the warrant and we don't need to have a check. So I can sign those. Yes. Um, there's another, the Department of Revenue Administration. Um, this, this is the thing that takes place of the inventory form. This is the PA 28, yep. which okay. is, um, it's, it's about, uh, the, the Department of Revenue Administration is asking Rollinsford whether or not you want to issue the inventory forms that we used to do until a few years ago, the form that went out and asked you who lives in your home and if you need any changes to your property. Um, we discontinued that maybe about three years ago because the data that we collected wasn't didn't seem to be of any value, whereas there was it, it was an administrative lift. Um, it, it annoyed the residents that they got a fee if it was not re returned on time. Um, and then also, we, we are required to keep them in perpetuity. Seriously. So, <laughs> um, but the town has the option of, you know, while you did vote at that time to discontinue them, um, at any time, you can do them again. And there are communities that do it once every five years or, or whatever they want to. Yep. So the decision here is, will we or, or won't we be sending out those inventory forms? And, and we don't have to address this tonight, if you guys want to. Yeah, I'm kind of... I'd like to make a motion that we continue to discontinue. <laughs> okay. Second? Yes, yeah, second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. So, I'm going to need your help, Caroline, and will not, right? Correct. Okay. Thank you. Will not. Okay. Um, and the one other thing that we could address um, is the portico. I don't know if you guys had a chance to look at it. I had some time, and I need to look at again. <laughs> okay. We can, we can tuck that back in the folder. Maybe we could take a field trip when you get elected on public. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, at this point, if I can get a motion to go into non-public session, um, we will, we're going to do two separate sessions, but it's all under personnel, so I think one motion. Alright, I'll make a motion to go into 91A uh, for personnel. Uh, so we'll do a roll call vote from Paul. Yes. Uh, Kim. Yes. And Miles will be yes. Um, we're in non-public session. Um, why don't we handle you first, George, and then... Um, and then we'll take care of the payment of them all. Yeah, they do. Hi, Aaron. I'd love to have one more question. We're I'll just going to step out real quick. We'll be we'll back. Wait, one minute. Uh, now. <laughs>
Okay. Yeah, they had, they're gonna just, they're gonna do the cupola first. They're gonna look at it. Yeah, they're gonna go look at it. I know. Say it. That's been how many years they've been looking at the, the cupola out front. The portico. Oh, wait, wait, it will be. It'll be like that house that they had. Florida. They had a good deal years yeah, ago. They had a good deal what? years ago for it. Oh. Uh, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to get this camera off so I can change this. And there's that little thing in. Where is it? Oh, right here. Never mind. I got it. I don't think that it's going to be that long. No, I know it's not. And I'm sure because we haven't even been an hour yet. But I just we aren't even close to an hour because it was shut off. I'm trying to learn to change batteries midstream. Last time it ran out. See now, my mine won't plug in any, anymore either. And I brought it to a computer place to try to get it fixed. Yeah. And he couldn't find the USB micro port that's needed for changing it. That's what it is. It's it's the USB port on the side of the camera that has gotten bent or something. Right. Yes. And for my camera, he couldn't find any USB ports. I opened that back door to let Katie out, and it's like punches right in the face. Yeah. You like her? I do. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, she's going to be a good asset. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm telling you, she knows all the tricks of this kind of software we already run, and she was telling me about the different things she can do, and I was going, I don't even know how software does this. <laughs> and you know a lot. Yeah, I mean, I've been using it for 21 years, mm -hmm. but. What do you guys want to close it? Cool right there. Nice and cold up there. You guys just cool. have a bunch of hot air in here. <laughs> okay, true. Um, from our non-public session, you guys stop. Um, I would entertain um, a motion. Sorry. Did you do the camera? I. You didn't open it. You didn't start it. It's recording. It? Okay, I didn't see a light blinking. Oh, I got a little red light over here. Oh, okay, that's right too. It's on the same side as mine. Like, yes, I'd like to make a motion for uh, one of the highway department employees to um, to pay up $15 an hour. So I put it in the for the yep. services involved. Not from the CDL. Okay, so salary adjustment for to 18 Second. Uh, any discussion on that? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, and then uh, we, we met with a, a candidate for the admin assistant role um, with the police department, Ms. Katie Perry. Um, and if there's a motion to extend an offer to her. Make a motion to extend an offer of employment to Katie Perry. Um, yes. An administrative assistant in the police department. Okay. For the, for the pay rate of. The pay rate of
really definitely need to do the structural work. Yeah. Um, I was really concerned about the points of start scraping. Um, if there is rock and wood, are we going to have to then get into a pair of that? That's a really good question. Um, Actually, there's always a question like that, but the underneath is either the primary cleaning operation underneath, and so while you could have rot anywhere, you know, my guess is that it's protected by the roof, and so that's less likely to happen. It doesn't look like there's water damage there. Um, but there's, I think, um, since there's going to be scraping of the old paint anyway, I think there's the potential of something being found and brought to you regardless of which way you go forward. I don't think that's likely though. Is, um, is this, so this company, they are doing both the structural the, um, and the painting? And the lead removal if you choose for that extra level. <laughs> Right now, I'm going to see what you guys want. Right now, I, I just, I'm just mm -hmm. waiting towards the 8,000 yeah. myself because I think we'll get it fixed. Um, when it's painted, it'll look nice. It may not look perfect, but it'll still look nice. Right. And, you know, looking up at the roof, you might see some of the old paint. But other than that, I mean, yep. that's my initial thought. But definitely, I agree that we should do structure. I don't like, okay. I don't like the colors. I'm, I'm on board with that too. Um, okay, so I'm going to move PO uh, 2010 to Brazi Builders uh, for $8,000 for repair of the Town Hall Portico with paint. And I will second that. Thank you, sir. Um, any further discussion? Um, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Cool. So I don't know how you want me to do this. Just, um, just scratch out whatever you're not doing, and then if you could total it, the new total. Um, I'm sorry, I do have one. And so they're going to basically rework the, some of the bricks as well. Yeah. As the quote says, as needed for structural. Not like to make it perfectly beautiful, but what's required, you can see sort of near the columns there are some, there are some cracks. And that is, um, those are structural issues, and those are being addressed. Oh. Just one, one last maybe silly question, but the only thing I'd ask is when you get back to these people that the quote still stands. Yeah, I the had cost, the same thought. Cost of materials have gone so much that they may say, oh, 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 oh now it's 9500 Right. Um, one other thing we need to consider is access to the building while it's being repaired. Sure. That, that's, um, yes. So people will, I'm not sure how you operate signage, but, um, and I'm hoping it won't take too long. Um, and we are completely closed on Wednesdays, so that, that part, I think, if, if that can be arranged in that way, at least minimizes, um, because then we're not open until Thursday morning, so that gives it good. I mean, for like Thursday, Saturday, do that <laughs> so, no, no, not that they would, but that, that it's, it's, a, it's a larger block of time that's not interrupted. Yeah. You know? I mean, I'm imagining we'll have to, like, Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Profit, uh, Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And it's going to go on for a while. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, is this act entryway available? Absolutely. Yep. It'll okay. be open, and it's a handicap okay. entrance anyway. Okay. So, okay. people aren't really very aware of it. So, to, to answer your question, somehow we're going to have to figure out signage to direct people to use the other entrance, but yeah, it'll remain. Like a soft like horse with an arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. probably do it. Okay. Awesome. So, that has been lingering over us for years and years. Um, yes. Thank you for approving. Um, so the, the only, I'm going to, I'm going to skip down to um, other business to come before the Zoom. Oh, um, uh, so just one question. Um, could we, in the next meeting, have the chief, um, can, can we get clarification on that receipt? The best part receipt? Oh, it's, so he's already been, he's already, um, he, um, she's referring to the credit card statement. All this, all the credit card purchases are supposed to have receipts with them. Um, they have, they're supposed to hand them in within a week. Sometimes that's not possible. Um, so we know that there are a couple of receipts missing, um, and there's one that's vague. So those need to get corrected. He's, he says he has them and he'll bring them in. Okay. So yes, I will. Um, leave that bill in the folder for you to see next week. Um, okay. 
Okay, thank you. Um, so for other business, um, I just have, um, I did not see, but I'm sure I must have missed it, the um, notice go out for the meeting tonight um, on the website. Um, it does. So there was a there wasn't there was a notice um, because this is I think this is the first meeting with the change of meeting time. So so that notice did go out. But just as a point of information, if um, when it, it's kind of crazy because the board has a regular schedule and then the regular schedule changes um, and that creates confusion. But when when a board or committee has a regular standing meeting time, you can post that, you know, this is the standard regular meeting time of, of that board. So it doesn't necessarily require additional notification, which doesn't mean it's not a good idea. Okay. Um, but yes, and, and, and these, they do get, they do get posted, um, even though the board tends to meet pretty regularly. So at this point, um, the process is that Chuck, um, at least once a month, um, puts out a, these are the upcoming meetings. Um, but, but that's typically way more than monthly because then new meetings get created, so then there are these updates that say these are the meetings for the upcoming meetings. So um, one of the things I think would be nice is if um, the week before our meeting, um, we, the town mailer did send out um, a meeting notice and include um, a link to a read agenda. So people would know that we're going to be discussing. Uh, we don't have like the. I mean, we could have the working agenda, but it wouldn't be the complete agenda. Well, if you did a Google share though, because it's in Google. No, I'm saying the agenda doesn't get set that far in advance. No, it's like the, the agenda is always, yeah. you know, like um, last minute. Right? Very last minute. So, um, but it is publicly available. That doesn't make it obvious on the website. So that part we can, we can. Um, so, um, because I think, you know, um, especially where we're doing in-person meetings now, um, it's, I think it's, it would be, people would be more likely to come to meetings if they if need they something. Like, yeah. the so, speak, I was going to bring up something too that several people have brought up to me is we have meetings right now the way we have them, but I'd like to see them also be virtual. Mm -hmm. So someone can, yeah. someone can be at home and, you know, be involved with this meeting. I think we get more town participation. Uh, yeah. Um, I agree. Uh, I was I was sort of planning um, as part of our strategic planning. And it, like we're going to be here for eight eight straight hours with everything we have to talk about. But um, I think it's it's a matter of figuring out the, the technical yeah. capability, which I you know right. happens think, all the time. I think, so we, right, I think our taxpayers and residents are really happy about it. Though. Right. We got used to being at home. Um, <laughs> Kim, at the Highway Safety Committee meeting, um, if if you um, if it works out that you can put like Bill as a side and have a conversation with him, mm -hmm. um, he organizes um, meeting technology, oh, circuit okay. TV, you know, all that stuff for um, another municipality mm -hmm. nearby. So um, he has a lot of it. You know, he's. If he's been advising the board on the cable franchise agreement because he's very familiar with that. But he could advise, I've already reached out to him to say that, that the board is thinking about this and that we'd be reaching out okay. with, um, to see if he could provide some suggestions about how we could do that well. Okay. Um, that's, that's good. I like that idea. Um, and I think, I think Paul, I think, you know, we would probably get more interested if they didn't have to be here. I, I worry about it being interactive. Like, so mm -hmm. is, is someone going to have a laptop? And this, I mean, questions during the, the agenda portion, I'm not going to stop the meeting. No, it would only be some input at the end, right. at the end, or if they wanted to you know, watch the meeting. Right. The meeting. right. They wouldn't be an interactive meeting. Right. Agreed. Um, is, it, is it possible? Oh, the town has a Facebook site, right? The person, the, the volunteer who manages the website will put the postings that go out via email also on the Facebook page that only she manages and is closed for comments. So it does exist, but it's not something that staff manages. Could we post, uh, put a link to the agenda on there the day before? 
we can ask her to do that. I, I don't want to make promises about what kind of level of service we're going to get from a volunteer. Do we need to have somebody else in addition to her to help manage that process? Yeah. It would be actually something to talk about in strategic planning, the idea that really ultimately we should be managing the website in-house entirely. Agreed. Um, but that's a staff okay. issue. So it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a more than a staff issue. It's a, it's a tech transfer. You know, it's a, it's a higher level. Um, it's a transition to manage. Can you go on the emails in the future? Maybe in July, but in August, we'll have to do it. Um, one Monday, we'll have a board meeting, and then on one Monday, we just have to do a strategic plan and yeah. budget. And, you know, two hours of doing that, because we don't want to have three or four hours. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I totally agree with that. But that's. I think that the initial meeting is probably going to have to be about getting the list of prioritizing. The list. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because there's there's a lot to take on. Um, but anything else? The only thing I got for board up uh, updates is we, we did not meet for the recommended injury. Mike was uh, he apologized. It was late. Seven. Never sent out the one from the meeting. Uh, and then it was like a day before, two days before. He just said I will cancel for June. So we're gonna meet in July. Go say the third Thursday, which I think is the fifteenth or sixteenth. Uh, it'll be good. To, it'll be good to meet in person. Could you let me know what that date is? So I will. Sure I don't have it officially right now, but okay. I will get to you. It'll be good to meet with everybody in person. Yeah. Um, and since everything's opened up, I think everybody might come up with some good ideas. We're coming up in fall and stuff, and community stuff, I hope. Great. And that's pretty much all I have right now. Do we have a deadline date on the ARPA? Not at all. On the what? <laughs> I, I won't say not at all, but the it's more than a year. I did see, I thought it was yeah. 2024. Yeah, I know. Um, it's it's yeah. way up there. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's 24 or 26, but it's certainly not for this week. Okay. That's all I have. Okay. Um, yeah, the only update I have, I have a um, budget committee meeting on Wednesday, uh, which is just a um, organizational meeting. I'm not expecting uh, too much to come out of that. We need a rep for CIP and um, to fill Can I ask a question? Did you volunteer for CIP? I'm the ex officio from the select board to CIP, but from the budget committee. There'll be a separate district. Suzanne. Suzanne was yeah, there. That's right. Was, um, and it's a shame to lose her because she was really, really good. Um, she was not eligible. Okay. Um, with that, um, I I would entertain, or I guess I can adjourn by consensus. I I, I think we get through enough of this agenda. I do. An hour and fifteen minutes. Um, no, 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 no. All right. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. See you guys on the show. Well. Yeah. Well, this wasn't as bad as I imagined it would be. Yeah. 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 Yeah.